I'm glad you could join me for prayer tonight. Tonight we're continuing in chapter 6 of Matthew. And we're at his section on prayer. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites. For they love to stand and pray in the synagogue and at the street corners so that they may be seen by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your God who is in secret, and your God who is in secret will reward you. When you are praying, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your God knows what you need before you ask God. Pray then in this way, Our Father, in heaven. Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And do not bring us to the time of trial, but rescue us from the evil one. For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive them, neither will your father forgive your trespasses. So tonight, instead of writing a prayer, I want us to use those comforting, familiar words that we speak all the time. The words that stay with us even when we can't remember most everything else. And what I want you to do, or what we're going to do, is I'm going to say a phrase from the Lord's Prayer. And then I'm going to leave space. And after you hear that phrase, I want you to pray the prayer that it reminds you of. So let us pray. I invite you to take a deep breath in and to let it go, to breathe in deeply and to release your breath. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts. As we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power And the glory forever. Amen. <laughs>